friendly driver is outraged tonight after her homeowners association pulled the plug on her vault. Jeff Vaughn spoke with her. He joins us live with the story. Jeff. Yeah, the resident of this condo complex tells me that she has agreed to pay $50 in fees for that electricity used to charge up her Chevy Volt. But the HOA says that's not enough money. They want $200. I love my car. Natalie Forte drives this Chevy Volt. She bought the eco-friendly electric hybrid because she supports the environment and General Motors. And I'm a Detroiter. But the love affair with a car is not shared with her HOA. Forte bought the Volt in June. When parked in this garage, she would charge the car's battery from its wall outlet. Forte, like all the other condo owners here at this complex along Elizabeth Lake Road in Waterford, pay only for the electricity for their unit. The garages are part of shared costs, covered by HOA fees residents pay each month. But when the HOA got the bill for the garages, well, they decided Forte's Volt was costing too much. I'm happy to pay for that energy that I've used. When the HOA produced the bill, Forte says she noticed something was wrong. The association charged above what she says the DTE bill was for that garage. Forte, an investigator for a law firm, says she offered to pay for what she owes. But the HOA is asking for more. Gouging. Definitely gouging. Up to four times as much money. Forte says the HOA never cashed the check she wrote and instead cut power to her garage last week. I feel harassed. Now to charge her volt, Forte runs 100 feet of extension cord from an outlet in her condo. To her car to keep her on the road. I feel discriminated against. Now tonight I did talk to the HOA president. After hanging up on me twice, he would only say that the board here at the HOA voted four to one to cut electricity to Forte's garage. Now take a look at these garages here. Forte tells me that some of her neighbors in these garages run appliances like refrigerators that run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and those residents do not have to pay any extra fees. We're live in Waterford. Jeff Vaughn, 7 Action News.